okay, so here we go then on uh, another little adventure. Uh, there's the bike, but uh, today's adventure is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm on the train, as you can see, meeting a couple of mates with a camper van. Um, we're off for a wild camping night, a couple of us are camping, one in the camper van. So tonight's more, or today, is more about the, um, the winter kit uh, that I've got and, and testing that. Well, it's January now, middle of the English winter, and the forecast, you probably see the rain there, is not great. So we'll see how we go. That's of interest, stay with me. So there's the wagon and that's where we're heading. There's the boys, Matt and Gab. Big <laughs> train. Okay, so Gav reckons um, he can do it. Let's hope he's right. <laughs> I don't want to push it out. <laughs> uh, the last uh, camping trip I did, I had to go through a ford or over a ford on the uh, Brompton, if you saw that one. Not quite the same. I think we've decided that was a bad idea. This is my style. This gives an idea of where we actually are. I think I've tried to get up there, but um, didn't work out too good. Right, so here we go. I think one of the main themes of this camp is going to be mud. But it's all a bit different. There's the van. Uh, we don't take it off the track because uh, we'll get stuck. There's the tents, obviously. There's mats. I'm at the other side. And we've got the fire pit ready to go there. There's Matt and Matt's dog. Sorry, what's the, what's the dog again, Matt? Winston. Winston. I think Winston might be one of the stars of this show as well. He's already featured on the journey up. We'll have a proper look at tents in the morning when it's... Because um, it's going to go dark any time soon. But we're a bit lucky with the weather. It's been raining all the way here. And now, uh, as you can see, it's pretty good. But there's Matt. Uh, 
and there's me. Some of you will have seen this set up before this tent or a similar one. Um, if you've seen, I think I've, I was think it was on my last video or the last, the one before that. But yeah, that's the decathlon tent I'm using today. There's, there's Gavin. Hey Gavin, he's the driver. And his, his, little, uh, his little helper there, Robin, who's having fun in the puddles. Um, this, I describe it as wild camping, which it pretty well is, but um, it is a campsite, but there are no facilities whatsoever. Um, it's basically private woodland, belongs to a farm. Um, you get in here and uh, you do your own thing. So, here we are. I uh, don't know if I'll get much more done tonight, I'll try and get something around the campfire perhaps um, and then we'll have a better look around in the morning but from the weather forecast, that sky and what we're getting at the moment is unbelievable it's supposed to drop down to around 3 degrees tonight um, but that's in town so up here we might get a frost we could get snow, we could get anything we'll have to just wait and see yeah, there's camp for the night, something different Looking forward to it. So, as I said, it's very muddy. Um, I don't know the name of this place. Um, I will find that out for you tomorrow for anyone that's interested. But we're in the Brecon Beacons in Wales. Um, I, I get the feeling that it's um, very popular with 4 before campers. Um, there's a lots of tracks going off in all sorts of directions up through the woods and such. Obviously, well well used, um, some far too steep for us to get um, our van up um, but yeah it's all very good beautiful spot um, so we're in the middle of winter as you can see, look at that tree that's, uh, that's impressive be more impressive again in the summertime when uh, it's all in leaf it'll be very lush up here and uh, not so muddy <laughs> but uh, yeah just had the last walk now we've uh, got the fire lit so we're going to enjoy a fire pit tonight and uh, as I, said, I think I said earlier I'll, I'll run through the gear uh, and everything in the morning so I'll show you what that's all about but yeah, a very different kind of camp for me. Um, one, <laughs> to have a bit of company and uh, two, obviously, um, cycling's been a very small part of this journey today. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it and uh, testing the gear. There we go. Catch you later. New York, Juice Forsyth, lovely. Best lager ever. <laughs> Can't beat a good campfire. Yeah, right, Winston. Clear yeah, here we go then, guys. The joys of winter camping. The fire's just about going up. You can probably hear the rain on the top. A little man's happy. He's just had his chocolate buttons. Right, so it's uh, it's just at half past eight. Um, it's very cold out there and very windy so uh, there you go you can see my breath there so yeah this is going to be a proper test of the gear um, I'm not going to try and show you the gear in the dark um, as I say we'll leave it till tomorrow and see what sort of night sleep I get on it as well um, being great out there tonight with a campfire uh, enjoyed that the stars are fantastic I took some shots but this uh, I haven't got the right camera for that, either the phone or, or the camera uh, are not the best for that. So we'll see uh, see how they come out. Uh, 
Um, so that's that. But yeah, great to see that and great to have a few beers with a couple of mates from work around a campfire. So um, yeah, we'll see what sort of night's sleep we have and uh, I'll catch you in the morning. Night for now. Ooh. So good morning campers. Um, it was a cold one last night. Um, I got a set of the setup worked fine. Um, I took these, my little toes, were a little bit on the chilly side, should have had another pair of socks on. Apart from that, fine. Um, so I will now just sort of run through um, what kept me warm last night. Right, so first thing, um, I've got the foil ground sheet there. Just adds a little bit of insulation and a bit of protection for everything. Um, it's a Carrymore Explorer self-inflating mat. Um, relatively budget, but it's done the job. Um, the other mats I've got are all sort of summer mats, whereas this one does um, claim to offer a bit more insulation. And that certainly worked. Pillow is the um, X-Bed, X-Ped, um, sleeping bag, now I've actually got two, it's a Vango 50 and a Vango 250, two sleeping bags, one's a three season and one's a one stroke two season. Um, so yeah, that's that's done the trick. Now the tent itself, I was set up as if I'd come by myself on normal camp. The bike's there, as you can see. Both did his own cooking, or well, we all did his own cooking last night, um, and worked that. Now uh, the reason I've gone for this tent rather than the hubba, uh, this tent's no longer available. You can't buy this tent, so I'm not showing you the tent. Um, it's not going to help you if you're looking for a tent in that sense, but some of the features of this tent um, obviously are common to lots of tents now. The first thing uh, that came in useful is that it pitches with the inner and the outer at the same time. So you're not pitching the outer first with the danger of getting that wet. Okay. Yeah, you're not pitching the inner and the outer at the same time with danger of getting that wet. Uh, so it pitches well like that. Um, there's a good amount of mesh on the inside, but if we look, if we look outside, you can see there the walls of the tent come pretty much down to the floor, down to the ground and into the grass. So there's very little in the way of drafts. Uh, and what there is, the base of the tent there catches. So. Although we had quite a windy night last night, it wasn't drafty at all in here. Um, so that works well. And the fact that it's a, a two-man tent means you've just got a lot more room when you've got winter gear, extra clothing and that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> you've got a lot more room for that. There's the tea bag. That's obviously the bag I had on the bike. Um, all the bits and bobs just strewn about at the moment. Uh, there's no signal here, so um, very little could do on the phone or anything last night. Just sort of started to cobble this video together. So yeah, that's the setup. Uh, I don't know how Matt feels about showing his, but I'll try and uh, I'll have a word with Matt and uh, see if he wants to show his. Um, about to get some some porridge on, have some breakfast. The stove's down there, so I'll crack on with that now. Uh, just one other thing of course, um, just to say what I slept in obviously also plays a part. As you can see I've got a down jacket on. Um, under that I've got a merino top, that's a long sleeve merino top. And under that is um, a thermal cycling top. I've got um, a pair of cycling leggings on and under that some merino leggings and then I just went with one pair of uh, woolen walking socks um, so as I said the only thing that got a little bit uh, chilly was my, my feet, my toes 
uh, another pair of socks that have done the trick. Um, I will say, if it had been, I don't know, not a lot colder, then uh, the story might have been different. A couple of degrees Celsius colder, and I think uh, I might have been a bit chilly this morning. But um, no, I had a good night's sleep. I don't actually know what time it is, but the sun's up, so I'm guessing it's going to be around 8. So that's a good night's sleep for me. <laughs> Very good night's sleep. Just got up once in the night. <laughs> A little uh, need for the toilet there. The sky was fantastic. There wasn't a cloud in the sky at that point. Um, the best starlit sky I've seen in a very long time. So that, that was uh, an absolute bonus. Worth coming uh, just for that. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with breakfast. And uh, I'll pick you up later um, if uh, we have a look at Matt's kit and or if there's anything worth showing you on the journey home. Thanks for now. Right, guys, so... This is the campsite this morning. Beautiful morning. Chilly, but very, very nice. There's me. Just had breakfast. Very civilised with the chairs and whatnot. Um, the fire pit there blew over. I will say the the the, uh, the mess on the ground there wasn't left by us. That, that was previous. Our fire pit was raised there. And just that little bit of a rash that's unfortunately spilled out because the uh, the tarp over there, uh, unsurprisingly, blew over in the night and uh, and knocked that down. Uh, but there we are. Um, now that's uh, Matt there just um, sorting himself out. He's just had his porridge. I've just had mine. All very nice. Um, I will say he's just been telling me about his tent. It's a, it's a top little tent. Uh, an OEX tent, and it just costs fifty pounds, but um, the features on it and such for something of that money looks pretty good, Matt. Morning. Looks pretty good. Yeah, so what? What is it? It's a OEX Fox version two. OEX Fox. Yeah. It's got it's got two vestibules. It opens both sides. Plenty of room in the vestibules. Now it's sold as a two man tent, but. As you can see from right there, I think, it'd be a very, very tight squeeze for two men, but it's a brilliant size for one man. So I think that's a, a great compromise for in between the two. Um, it was a bit breezy out here last night, and a bit wet, as obviously you can tell, and the tent, the tent stood up fine. Is that the first time you've used it? Second time. Just the second time it's been out, but yeah, 50 squid and uh, a top little tent. Matt tells me he was nice and warm last night. He's got the foil mat down again. Um, what's the sleeping bag, Matt? Uh, it's a Snug Pack X Army bag. A Snug Pack X Army bag? Yeah. There we go. And uh, it was nice and toasty. Could have done me a bit more comfort, but couldn't we all? Um, what's the, the mat? Uh, the mat is the OEX um, Traverse. OEX Traverse mat. Kept him warm. Uh, would have just liked a little bit more thickness just to keep uh, a bit more comfort in there. And Matt's been cooking on the Trangia. And he's got a bush box um, triangle. triangle there, yeah, rather than the, the big kit, just to keep the, the size and the weight down. So uh, so that's Matt's setup. Yeah, both setups worked well last night. We were both comfortable. Winston's left his mark on Matt's there, as you can see. I told you he was going to be one of the stars of the show. Say hello, Winston. There you go. There we go, then. Day two. Just wanted to show you this quickly, just from the route home. We, or uh, well, Gavin, decided to tackle that river. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so that's the trail back down to where we've camped. And uh, just having a walk up the hill. And just wanted to give you an idea of the location and where we are. It's a beautiful spot. Tucked away in this valley. farm building down there is uh, people that run this as a campsite so these are the, their fields around and then this is the woodland the guys are carrying on up the hill there so uh, Gavin's uh, a little bit camera shy not not too keen to talk about his van as good as it is um, so I'm gonna call it a day at that uh, hope that was useful for you on the camera uh, on the kit on the camera kit, on the camping kit. Um, it's a successful camp, uh, no issues. 
nobody needed to bail out into the camper van or anything um, so yeah um, the set up that was useful give us a thumbs up and uh, hope to see you next time bye for now